Hello students, the question says, in the current, in the circuit shown, the current in the one ohm resistance. So for the given circuit, you have to find what is the current flowing through the one ohm resistor. So let us draw the current flow diagram. Here we have two batteries, six volt and nine volts. Generally, we start from a larger battery, and, but there is no such route. You can start from any battery and we generally start from a larger battery. So we have a nine volt battery, which is larger here. And how do we draw this current flow diagram? The current flow must start from a positive plane and it must end at the negative plane. So imagine a current I is flowing in this way. So current I could be flowing in this way. And suddenly we have a path. Let us assume current I1 would go through this path. So if current I1 goes through this, I is coming here. I1 is going through this. So this I would become I minus I1. Why? Because I is entering, I1 is leaving here, 10 people entering, 2 people are leaving here, 8 people would go in this direction. So I minus I1, so this entire thing would become I minus I1. So in this way, the current would flow. And again here, I minus I1 and I1. So here, I minus I1. So these two would mix and they will become again the current I. So this is basically current flow diagram. Once you know the current flow diagram, we'll use Kirchhoff's loop law to write current equations. So let us take two loops in anti-clockwise direction. Let us also travel in anti-clockwise direction. So I'll start from here and I will travel in a loop. Loop means I will travel in this way. In this way, I'll keep traveling. So let me start. As I travel, the first thing I meet is two and my direction of travel and current direction are in the same direction. So we can write two I. Then here, I meet the resistor 1 ohm. The current is traveling downward. I am also traveling downward. Plus 1 into I1. Again here, plus 3 into I. Then I met the negative plate. So minus 9 equals to 0. I have completed the journey. You might say here we met the negative plate minus 9. Then followed up by positive plate plus 9. No, you cannot take like that. For a battery, you can only take a single plate. So minus 9. And we became 0. So let us rearrange it. 5i plus i1 equals to 9. Let me call this as equation 1. Now let us travel in the second loop. So if I travel in the second loop, now this time I will travel from here and I will travel in this loop completely. So as I'm traveling, the first thing I meet is negative plate of the battery. So we'll get minus 6. Then again, you cannot write minus 6 plus 6. This would be wrong. So we only take for one battery, one plate. So minus six, then we met three ohm resistor. So three into I minus I1. Then we met one ohm resistor, but I'm traveling upward now to complete the loop. I'm traveling upward, but the current is flowing in the opposite direction to which I'm traveling. Since current is flowing in the opposite direction, I have to take minus one into I1. And since I have completed a loop, the potential difference would be 0. So we'll get minus 6 plus 3i minus 3i1 minus i1 equals to 0. So we will get 3i minus 4i1 equals to 6. Let me call this as equation 2. So let me take both the equations in the next page. So this is one equation. And this is my other equation. So once we have both the equations, now I have to eliminate this I. Why? Because the question is about I1. What is the current flowing through Q and P? Since the question is about I1, I will eliminate I. To eliminate I, multiply this equation with 3, multiply this equation with 5. So once I do that, I will get 59 plus 3I1 equals to 9327. Here we will get 59 minus 5 fours are 20i equals to 6 fours 24. Subtract these two 0 plus 23i plus 23i1 equals to 27 minus 4. So we are getting it as 3. From this we can write i1 equals to 3 by 23. So since it is 3 by 23, 
let us try to find what's the value of 3 divided by 23. We get it as 0 0.13 amperes. So the current flowing it is 0 0.13 amperes from Q to P. As you can see from the current flow diagram very clearly, it is flowing from Q to P and it is 0 0.13 amperes. And the answer is option one. Hope you understood how I have solved. The most important thing is you should have the ability to draw this current flow diagram and write this Kirchhoff's loop class. Once you understood this, the problem would be easy. Thank you.